what's good everybody it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk you know a lot of sisters and people in general talk about the kind of man um, that they want all right and uh you know they deserve this kind of guy they gotta have that kind of guy you know and he has to be very rich he has to be very wealthy these are the things that these guys need to be in order for him to deal with somebody like them and i always make the case that usually most ladies who desire these things have very difficult times even getting in the door all right i, I used to and i'm going to talk about this the, the, the more uh, income I have been able to make for myself over the last like 10 years, um, the way I thought the world works when I didn't have any money, and I'm still pretty broke now, but just the things I've seen over the last 10 years have taught me a lot about access and who has it and who can control it. And a lot of the people who are, let's say in a normal way of life, and you think that you deserve a better way of life, it, it's just not common, right? It doesn't make sense. Now, Drake was recently, I believe, in Houston. And he was going to get uh, some hamburgers there. And um, there was a sister that saw Drake. She's tapping him and she wanted to take a picture with him. And, <laughs> well, you see what happened in the clip, okay? He looked at her like she was nothing. She had her phone out and all of that. And a lot of people thought, this was rude, you know, why would he do the girl like that? That was not cool. He could have took a picture with her. He could have made her day. And, um, you know, she got her phone out and everything and, and all of this. But I believe, like, you know, number one, maybe the guy's not in the mood to take pictures with people. And he doesn't owe anybody. It could be it's her fan. She could have loved him or whatever or not. But the reality is that's what happens when you're – you're somebody who's not somebody's type. First of all, y'all are going to start hitting me with the Drake don't like black women thing. The Drake don't like dark skinned women thing. The Drake don't like white women thing. The Drake don't like mulatto women. I can guarantee you Drake has done very similar things to high profile or let me not say high profile, but very beautiful, good looking women. He's done it. It ain't just her. The difference here is... Okay, the difference here is, and I'm gonna say it, the difference here is she's trying to even have a collaboration or a picture with somebody who don't even care about her. I mean, you do understand what I'm saying? And that is what's gonna happen for a lot of ladies, and it's unfortunate for her, that are trying to go up the food chain when you don't have much to offer. Now, had she been somebody he can respect, that might have been different. But a lot of us find that out the hard way. See, in this life, um, what you look like all the time don't really matter. Again, I think that he wasn't attracted to her, but at the same time, also, what you bring to the table. Because see, if she was somebody like that was important in music, he wouldn't do her like that. He couldn't do her like that. But when you're just somebody that's a considered to be a fan, <laughs> who are you? And a lot of ladies, I'm just going to be real. The higher you get with guys that got money and got access, that's how they, I'm just going to be real. I'm not trying to put nobody out there. I've seen rich guys treat a lot of ladies just like that. Like, who are you? Why do you feel the need that you need to talk to me? Why do you feel the need that you need to text me? Who do you think you are? talking to me they, they don't have to say it they just do it and furthermore for a guy like drake for a lot of ladies who want to come after him and i'm going to just say this too this is also a part of probably what the issue is a lot of these ladies want to deal with drake and take pictures with drake then come up and make false allegations later on oh see this is a picture of me and him at the restaurant you see he uh he, he did X, Y, and Z to me. Here's proof of me and him together. I'm pregnant by him. You see, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go that, to that to that level two. 
because probably when he first started it was okay but see you know how evil people are how evil some of these women are and and and, and, and even some of these guys out here look i ain't got no time for you don't touch me don't even talk to me all right i don't know you who are you you're a nobody to me now we might think that that's wrong morally it could be but when you're rich like this guy you gotta protect it look man don't be touching on me like that taking a picture for you for you to go out there and lie and say oh i'm on, a, on, on my first date with drake you know now then drake gotta come out and say that what she's saying ain't true but the blogs gonna run with it because they got the photo oh and you know they're gonna run with it drake over here with these dark skinned ladies she can go get an interview all of a sudden increase her following up not saying that's her intention but that is what can happen and she got her phone out there like he was really gonna <laughs> y'all see that she really got her phone out there like he was just going like oh you hop in the picture oh no 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 she was start trying to style her little wig and everything he was like look, uh, look i'm going to get a burger and i'm gonna tell you like that a lot of y'all gonna end up like that trying to get these rich guys thinking they're gonna have time for you and they're not i'm just gonna be real the more money they do got and you're trying to get in the business and in a way not worried about you so many ladies out there want to talk to these guys that's a line of them on that level I know y'all don't want to talk about that. I know you don't want to deal with that. But that's how it worked. Okay? It is what it is. And I hear a lot of ladies want to deal with rich guys. You got to have this. You got to have that. And I get it. But baby, if you don't have that, look, um, it's take a ticket. Stand in line. Seriously. All right? Because you're not going to be able to come out with the fact you got a fat booty. You know, you got, you got tick old bitties, you know, you got this and that. All right. You, 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 you're popping all hard. It's not going down. So this is the issue that y'all going to have. And the more y'all try to get out of the situation, listen to what I'm saying, that you deserve a high, high value man, a high power man. You will be over there dusting it up with, 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 with Pookie in there. Trust me. Okay, trust me, trust me. That's the situation. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Drunk. Appreciate you for all you, the bell. We're out.